It was um, three days before my due date. They did an ultrasound and the doctor was like, there's some things that look a little bit off. We're noticing the long bones and the baby's arms and legs are much shorter than we would expect. And so they were talking about a form of skeletal dysplasia. And there was really little that they knew about it here in Vermont. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was fast. He yeah, came out yeah. and, and, um, and, and Chad said, we have a baby Azrin. Because we knew that if you were going to be a boy, your name would be Azrin. They sent the scans out to lots of different hospitals, and the hospital in Delaware is the one that responded and was able to diagnose him. When we first started going down, it's about a seven and a half hour trip if we didn't have kids. Just a straight shot, no stops. But going down with Azrin was about 12 hours at least. And after surgery, vomiting and yeah. just tears on the way home, and with his, with his back being tender, the drive is not a fun drive with a little one. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. really hard. And, and in fact, we, we can't really drive with him that long because of his condition. He just can't be seated that long. Yeah. pick you up in just a minute. We're going to do some activities with honey. After his operation, he's in a full body cast. You know that that eight hour car ride is just way too much to put that child through. And that's where PALS comes in. There you go, big man. So PALS is an incredible program. They fly us to medical care for Azrin. They're the ones that make sure that it's not a 12 hour drive, that it's a two hour hop in a quick plane with an amazing pilot that cares. Always know that we can get there and we can get home without a problem. Yeah. Everything is volunteer, from fuel, the use of the plane, insurance, ramp fees, whatever comes around, PAL supplies the transportation. They line up all of this travel free of charge. We call them up and they say, great, we'll help you out. That, that does not happen with commercial flights. Yeah, it you doesn't know? happen with anything. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, when we go, we're thinking about all the questions to ask the doctors. We're feeling anxious if there's any kind of procedure. And to have something fun on each end of the trip that we look forward to, and that Azra could look forward to, and that that is sort of bookends the trip, that makes it amazing. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, I would say PALS is the only easy piece. Okay. okay. All of these people, they care about us, and they care about our family, and they, they treat Azrin like he's the most important kid mm -hmm. they've ever met and makes him feel super special. It feels like family in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's sing <laughs> some well over the rainbow. This is why I fly. I, I never knew why I flew before. This is why I fly. It's actually helping a family, you know. And, and PALS lets me do that. So it's all about giving back. You know, the bottom line is PALS makes critical care accessible to us. You know, it, it makes that critical care accessible to Azrin. Thankfully, you know, the, the one constant is that uh, we can call PALS and they'll, mm -hmm. they'll get us there. They're amazing. They really are amazing.